Hi, this is JP from Nautilites over Arkham. This time I will be testing out my recently built uh, Winifred Habamok deck that I did uh, how to build a deck uh, ep episode on. Uh, the deck is basically built to include Chuck Fergus later on in the campaign. So this is the level 0 version and I'll just put it quickly up on the screen. So you can check it out. I won't go into detail about the deck list. If you are interested in how I ended up building this deck, go check out my uh, how to build episode on Winifred. I'll put a link to the video up to the right corner so you can go check that out and then come back. But uh, let's go to the scenario I am playing today. I am playing the Return to the Forgotten Age campaign with uh, Vinny and I will be filming this uh, first episode just to test out the deck and uh, I am playing the Untamed Wilds on standard difficulty and as this is the Return to version uh, I just want to remind that the Exploration deck is just 5 cards and each time you successfully explore, you add one encounter card from the uh, encounter deck into the exploration deck. So that way there might be treacheries in there. But at the start there are none. So uh, just I'll go quickly through what supplies I took for Winnie. So I got binoculars, rope chalk, blanket and the pendant with the 10 supply points. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I will just jump into the gameplay, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand for Winnie. We get Daredevil. Uh, Gregory Cry, we replace the Arrogance, uh, we get the uh, Sneak by 25 Automatic and Backstab. I think I will get rid of the Automatic, the Backstab, I'll keep, well, uh, I think we can get rid of the Daredevil too. So we are basically looking for uh, cards that help us investigate better. So, okay, we get Leo De Luca, a cheap shot and breaking and entering, so at least something. Uh, now we have a big uh, choice. Do we want to play Leo or do we want to play Gregory? I think Leo could be a better choice so that we have the extra action sooner. Uh, we really are not looking for that much uh, resource generation, so I think uh, Gregory, even though Gregory is quite nice in Vini, because you are usually succeeding by a lot, uh, I think I'm going with Leo. So, uh, first action, I'll get a resource. Second action, we'll play Leo. I'll just put an uh, extra action here. So then I think we are just exploring. So these are also shuffled. So the first one is Rope Bridge. It is uh, connected. So now we shuffle one encounter card in the exploration deck. We'll move to the rope bridge and pause when you attempt to explore while at rope bridge. Test agility 2. If you fail, cancel the exploration, take 2 damage, lose all remaining actions, and end your turn. Place your investigator in the river canyon. If it's not in play, search the encounter deck for river canyon and put it into play. First, shuffle the exploration deck. 
So last action, we'll just try to investigate here and become fine investigating without uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm committing Gregory. We are not playing Gregory because we have Leo Tate, so committing Gregory to the test and I'm investigating four versus two and it's a minus one so we grab this clue and that is our turn no enemies we go to upkeep uh, we draw a card uh, we get the backstab and we gain one resource so that is the first turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom to the agenda encounter card is uh, best laid plans so it's a, a peril revelation you must either choose one lose two actions shuffle the top card to the encounter deck into the exploration deck i think at this point we are uh, able to lose some actions uh, we don't want to bloat the exploration deck with treacheries right at the start I think I'm just exploring and uh, I'll test the agility test 5 versus uh, 2. It's a plus 1. So uh, we managed to succeed in the test. So we explore the top card is Ancient Evils. So the exploration fails and we get one uh, doom on the agenda. Uh, last action, I'll just explore again. And now we are certain there are no treacheries in the counter deck. Just shuffle this up a bit. And as a reminder, we need three clues to advance the act. So first, the agility test, uh, 5 versus 2, it's a minus 2, so we still uh, succeed, and then exploration is a uh, path of thorns. Forced after you fail a skill test while investigating path of thorns, take 1 damage. Forced after you explore while a path of thorns, if the exploration was not successful, takes 1 damage. And this path of thorns is uh, not connected. Okay, we should have checked that first. Uh, just double checking, so let's go to the next card. Okay, Trail of the Dead. And it is not connected. And the Circus Trail, and that is connected, so we get that. We shuffle one counter card into the exploration deck so uh, one shroud one clue as an additional cost for you to investigate or explore while at uh, circus trail check your supplies if no investigator at your location has compass you must spend three resources okay so you're probably not trying to explore here and there was one clue here, so uh, that is that turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we get what's this, and we gain one resource. So I think that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 3 of 6 doom, and count card is creeping poison. We are not poisoned, so it just searches. And we get Estly Guardian. So spawn any empty location, ancient table, alert, aloof. Uh, so let's see, there are no ancient locations in play, so we can basically just pick a location. And we are not connected to this, so I think we'll just put this S3 Guardian back at the base camp. We are not going back there, hopefully. And that is the encounter 
card and mid of space will go to investigation base. So, um, we need three resources to investigate here. Explore. I think. Um, so I think we'll just investigate here, go back to the rope bridge, and uh, explore from there. So first action, I'll grab one resource. I'll spend three resources uh, because we don't have a compass, and I'll uh, explore here. Uh, no, I'll. Uh, Investigate here. Investigating three versus one. And it's a minus two, so luckily we'll be just past this. Uh, then we'll move over to row bridge. And last action is to uh, explore. Just thinking, do I want to? Commit anything to this test. I think not. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just uh, exploring. So agility 5 versus 2. It's a plus 1. And then we explore. Uh, I can't remember if I shuffled this, so I'll just do a reshuffle. Okay, and okay, we hit a bit viper, so the exploration fails. We get a bit viper, which is really nasty. That sucks a lot, but nothing we can do about it. Uh, we'll go to the Uh, enemy phase, so this guy shoots an arrow and <laughs> the pit viper uh, bites us, so we get the poison card, unfortunately. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, upkeep, we draw the card, we get self destructive, so. Uh, Put self-destructive into play in your threat area. Pause when you deal one or more damage to an enemy, take one damage. Double action discard it and self-destructive. So I think we're just evading everything. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. A horrible turn, but let's see what we can do. Uh, so let's go to next turn. We are doomed, and the card is arrows from the trees. Take one damage plus one additional damage for each ally asset you control. Each other investigator at each and location control source of this effect. So I take two damage. Ouch. And that is the middle space. Uh, first action, I'll. Uh, evade. I'll use sneak by. I'll gain two resources. I'll commit uh, what's this to the test. I'll put all of my money on it. Then I'll commit uh, the backstab. So I draw. Just checking. Yeah, I'll draw a card. I get pickpocketing. Nice. And I'm evading the pit viper. Five, six, seven, verse three. And it's a minus three. So we succeed by so four verse three. So we succeed and by at least one or more. So we double our resources, roughly. Piper is evaded. And next 
I think we are playing. Uh, we are exploring. So I am testing the agility test here. Uh, 5 versus 2, a 0, we succeed, we are the selfish, we shuffle these. Okay, uh, so we get Trail of the Dead, not connected. Path of Thorns is uh, not connected, and River Canyon. And this is also connected to the expedition camp. Okay, so we get one encounter card shuffled into these and we move to the river canyon. One clue for shroud. The river canyon is also connected to the searches trail. Then I think we are playing the pick. Pocketing down. And uh, last action, I think I am uh, moving. Uh, just a moment. Yeah, I still need one location connector here. So we'll just move here because we don't want to get the arrow from the SD Guardian. And we'll, I think we'll uh, head back and break and enter the river canyon next turn. So, upkeep, no enemies, do anything in the enemy phase. So we draw a card, we get block picks, and uh, we gain one crystal. So, I think that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 5 of uh, 6 doom, encounter card is. Ancient evils, so we advance, unfortunately. Uh, that is really unlucky because now uh, we get the serpent's attack. So shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and set aside agents of Yig and counter set into the encounter deck. Each investigator test will power 3. Each investigator who fails performs the following in order. If you are poisoned, take one damage and one horror. If you are not poisoned, put the set aside poison weakness into play. So um, let's just test it. I don't have anything to boost the uh, test. So one versus three. Uh, nothing can help us to succeed this. So we get a skull and it's uh, zero, but still we fail. So we take one damage and one horror. I'll put the horror on Leo. We still we are hurting quite a lot. So shuffle counter discard pile and the set aside agents of Yik into the encounter deck. Okay, and then we get an encounter card. Oh no, we, we already did the encounter card. Yeah, so we get the agent evils. Yeah. I forgot that we advanced that way, so I'll just shuffle this again. Okay, and uh, uh, investigation phase. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I think I'm playing the log picks. And uh, we'll move into the river canyon and we'll use the lockpicks to investigate so I'm investigating 8 versus 4 and it's a minus 2 if you are poisoned the test automatically fails instead so bye bye lockpicks well <laughs> that is most unfortunate uh, We'll just uh, break in and enter that uh, then. So uh, we add our agility to the test. So 8 versus 4. 
and it's a minus three so we grab this clue the last action will move back here that was unfortunate and at the end of the round let's see the enemy face first nothing happens we'll go to upkeep we draw a card a lucky cigarette case and one resource and we'll at the end of the round we spend the clues So the natives put the set aside Ishtaka enemy in the play at the lead investigation location shop of the encounter is part of the deck. So now we have Ishtaka. Set place her here. Mark two. Broken. So. So. Ishtaka is engaged with us, so we can parlay test the uh, intellect four, convince Ishtaka that you are not her enemy. If you succeed, place one clue from the token back on her. If you fail and Ishtaka is ready, she attacks you. And uh, we have Hunters of the Estlip. Objective if Ishtaka is defeated, advance. If there are one clues per investigator on Ishtaka, place her victor. And okay. So um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. I will add a doom. Count card is snake bite. Test agility three. If you fail, you must either choose one, deal five damage to an ally, or one will take one direct damage. Yeah. Okay. So test thing five versus three. It's a zero, so we pass. Then uh, we need to deal with Ishtaka somehow. I'm uh, trying to evade. I'm committing the cheap shot. I'm evading uh, six versus four. And uh, remember that Ishtaka has alert. But uh, yeah. We really need cards and we have big pocketing, so we're trying to get some cards. It's a zero, so we succeed. We exhaust big pocketing. Exhaust is Taka. Draw a card. Anything you can do better. Nice. Uh, we parlay is Taka. We commit anything you can do better. Uh, we are uh, testing 9 versus 4. And it's a minus 2. Um, and we're successful. So we advance. So if Ishtaka has uh, one clue on her, uh, remember that Ishtaka is leaning the way at one call this token to the chaos pack for the remainder of the campaign shuffle the three set aside ancient ruins locations into the exploration deck and advance to act 3a search for the ruins okay so we add the ruins locations okay then we, uh, I think we are exploring. Yeah, we remove this stalker. Put it in the victory display over here. And then I think we are exploring. So, yeah, no test required here. Oh yeah, we, we can't explore here without paying. Uh, so I think I... Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't... I think this guy doesn't do anything. Let's see, search for the ruins. So each SD guarding enemy cannot attack or be attacked, nor the effects each arrow of the priest treachery only investigates at the ruins of SD can spend the three clues needed to advance. Okay, so let's see. I have uh, two actions left. Just uh, thinking that mm, 
I think this location is good to explore from, so I think I'm just getting resources. So I, I'll get one resource, I'll draw one card, get another cheap shot, and that is my turn. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, we get one resource, and of course we get the arrogance. Okay, well, well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, uh, we add one tune to the agenda. Encounter card is uh, Brood of Yig. Okay, so it comes into play engage with us. So we'll just have to uh, evade. So I'm I have to commit arrogance. I'm not committing anything else, so evade. First action. I have big pot that must be ready. So got this here because these actions it's awkwardly. So I'm using the Leo action always first. So evading uh, four versus two. It's an auto fail. Uh, so we get rid of arrogance. Second action, we'll evade. Still not committing anything. Uh, five versus two. It's a minus three. We succeed. We exhaust big pocket into a card. We get calling favors. And this uh, food of Yik is evaded. We will explore, spending three resources. Let's see, uh, we are looking for specific symbol and we get creep in poison. Oh, nice stuff. So the investigation fails, uh, the exploration fails, and we take uh, one damage. And it searches, so we take a curse of Yig. How nice, we are almost dead. So, uh, <laughs> This is going horribly wrong. Uh, yeah, last action we'll just get our resource so we can investigate again next turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. I'll keep this guy ready, so get it back. We draw a card. We gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are doom. Three of nine. Encounter card is a uh, pit viper. How oh, nice! More enemies, the merrier, or something like that. So now we have to evade the pit viper first, and I am committing uh, calling in favor and automatic test. I'm getting one card, so. It's an elder sign. I'll. Uh, he didn't commit. Uh, yeah, so we. For every two points we succeeded, but we were evading five. Five, six, seven, plus three, plus one, so we can return both of these into our hand. We draw a card with big pocket if we get the daredevil. Okay, and the bit wiper is created. No, the other one. Uh, second action, we will evade this. Uh, Root of Yik, we draw a card, we get sneak by. Evading uh, 7 versus 2. Minus 5, <laughs> still succeed. Okay, uh, then we will uh, we will explore, and oh no, we have to take one resource. And last action, we'll explore. And now there should be no treacheries here. So let's see. Uh, we found the ruins of Estli. 
Uh, we still need to get a clue from somewhere else. But that is a later turn <laughs> we need problem. We shuffle one and count the card into the exploration deck. Then uh, no enemy action, upkeep is ready. Uh, we draw a card, we get another automatic and gain more prestige. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we are at 4 of 9 doom, then come the card is Estli Guardian. We'll just, I uh, think we'll dump Estli Guardian somewhere here. Matter. Uh, it has to be an empty location, so it's the river canyon. Then, well, still no worries. The guardian doesn't do anything. So um, we really don't want to explore the ruins of Estli before we are certain we can succeed in the uh, investigate tests because if we fail an investigation here we draw the top card of the encounter deck and we don't want to do that so instead i think we are exploring uh, let's see no we'll draw a card uh, what's this we'll draw another card lock picks We have eight cards, so I think we are exploring. Uh, we, yeah, we'll explore. So there's only one location we can find that is connected. So let's see if we hit it. Uh, we get the snake bite, so we fail to explore. Just test the agility. I think I'm committing or watch this, spending that. And I think I'll commit the cheap shot to do a card. We get another daredevil. Uh, in, uh, testing 7 versus 3. It's a plus 1. So we Double our resources, which is good for next turn. And last action, we'll just explore again. So, really doesn't matter, it's only one card that can be here that is connected. So, Path of Thorns is not connected, Temple of the Fang is not connected, Overgrown Ruins is not connected, and Trail of the Dead. So, this is connected, let's see, we need to shuffle, shuffle these cards a bit, so it's connected here and here, there's one clue there, we need that clue, so next turn we can investigate that, and we have final so we don't take the horror from this location, so that's okay. We shuffle one counter card into here, but I think we are not exploring anymore. Uh, no enemy actions, upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, nice, we get breaking and entering, and we gain one resource. So, um, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, the Encounter card uh, is another Brood of Yig. We are really getting all of the lovely enemies. So I think we are just evading. I will spend, I will uh, play Sneak by to evade. Then I will commit the Automatic. And uh, I think 
we are committing the daredevil. So first skill card we get uh, quick thinking. Then we draw a card, we get another quick thinking. Okay, so we are playing the taboo list, so I can only commit one of the quick thinkings that was test at, uh, during one turn. So we get two resources from the sneak by, and we are evading by eight versus two. It's a minus three, so we succeed. We put this guy. Where is he? There. Then, second action, I'll play the block picks. I think I might have drawn an extra card. So where well, we would have discarded Leo because we had too many cards in hand. I'll yeah, and I'll I think I drew the card with pickpocketing. No I didn't. So if I did I may have misplayed, but whatever. Uh I am uh, playing the lock picks. And investigating. With the lock picks. Eight versus two. I have binocular, so I don't take the horror. And it's a minus one. We grab this clue. Last action will move back to the ruins of Estli. Hopefully, to get uh, some investigation done and resigning next round. But yeah, that's the. Investigation phase, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, this guy ready is drop picks and pickpocketing ready is, we draw a card, we get calling in favors, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom, we are at six of nine. Encounter card is arrows from the trees, so we can ignore this, because it's that guy is leading us. Nice. Um, okay, let's see. First action. I will be breaking and entering. I will commit uh, quick thinking to the test. Oh yeah, I think we had an extra action last time, but I forgot about it. That's okay. I'll also commit the uh, calling in favors. We get a lucky cigarette case. Then we are testing. Yeah. We are testing. Uh, Eight, nine, ten, first three, and it's a zero. We can grab one clue. Next action. Uh, we have no enemies here to automatically evade. We'll use the lock picks for the second investigate, and I will commit. Daredevil, and we get nimble. Oh uh, no, we don't. Uh, yeah, we don't hit any any cards with the horror because our deck ran out. And I'll commit Gregory Cry. Oh yeah, and I have an extra action on the quick thinking this turn, so basically this is the second free action. And we draw a card, uh, we get anything you can do better. Uh, 
I'll keep it in hand. If I fail this, I still have uh, another chance to uh, investigate without any tricks. So mm, I'm investigating 8, 9, 10 versus 3. It's a plus one. So we grab this clue and we can spend the clues at doing for test clip. So, uh, discovery of a lifetime. You have uh, what you have found is beyond your wildest expectations. Despite their supposed age, the ruins appear preserved in time. Several aspects of the architecture are strangely futuristic. You set out to investigate that once. Resolution one. Okay. Well, uh, there was some rough uh, patches in this. Uh, through well we got poisoned uh, we were quite near death because of this curse of yik we only had uh, uh, two health remaining but uh, and we had this but we weren't hitting anything so this didn't do that much uh, yeah so we are poisoned that is a minus but other than that I think the deck performed quite well nothing nothing to worry about we got a good amount of xp from this uh, scenario two three four five uh, I think because we have binoculars we get extra xp from the resolution so good start for a campaign uh, I won't be playing this campaign on camera I have so many other other playthroughs coming up so this was just uh, a test for the deck I built and I think it works pretty good I'm uh, really excited to add Chuck into the deck and start abusing his ability to play these events fast and stuff like that but yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough and as always until next time